today on the artist profile we kick it with king saladin to talk new work social media and artist collaborations that exhibit loads of color stay tuned it's the artist profile People thinking different things. You know what I'm saying? So this is Capone's room. You know what I'm saying? Capone room gotta have art. You know what I'm saying? This is another piece. This is a. Uh, this is called Welcome to America. Like, not America. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's different. It's deep. It's a. Uh, this is another no no middle class type job. Freedom. It's just a long story about American type shit. The like young black brother coming from where I come from. I ain't finish it though. You got you see the Malcolm X sticker or whatever. I was gonna have him like all kinds of political thoughts or whatever. But he's just a young king. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna I'm gonna sell this table for like 20 grand one day. I'm gonna just keep adding on to it. You know what I'm saying? We in the dungeon right now, man. I got the heater on. Come on, no. You already know what it is. I just started that, John. I'm gonna make it real, real, real detailed. I'm gonna try to make everything pop out a little bit. This is a piece, my, I ain't even finished it. My man put a down payment on it. I don't know where it, what happened to him. You know what I'm saying? But it's probably like 30% done. I was gonna do all this crazy shit in his head. But I, I lost that vision. Oh, I love this job. Oh, yeah, this is, this is, this is me, this is representing me running through the hood with my gift. You know what I'm saying? You gonna have some friends, some fake friends. It's crazy, man. So it's all the hands, all the handouts. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody believe. Ain't nobody believe when I was at work. You know what I'm saying? True that. And once you get the gift, you run it. You run it, and you gotta see you going through poverty. Poverty this way. You know what I'm saying? This is where all the hands is coming from. Cause poverty, they just think they deserve something when they ain't work for shit. So this piece is probably about fifty percent done. You see all over here. I gotta get in. Just you know what I'm saying? But. Oh, I need to show you the door, dog. Man, the door. Who wanna bet us that they can't fuck with us? The door is the realest. I did this like four years ago. Um, this shit real deep, dog. This my man Pop. Rest in peace, my man Pop. My man Driz. My cousin Maine. You already see JP. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. My young boy Tom Tom. Shit. And then when you go up here, this is like my other homies. These like my immediate. Homie, homie, homie. So you know I got Drizzle here, Pop up here. I got my young boy Kim, he passed away. My old head Fats. I need to put Fats on the door because Fats is my fucking old head. My young boy D-Ball I play ball with. Another Pop. Another JP. You know what I'm saying? JP. Having chillin', talking his shit. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, Pete. Oh, man. Peter Cavallino. You... Not the oh, man. man, JP is part of the whole mission, man. That dude... That dude was into everything, man. He just knew what was supposed to be a certain way. You know what I mean? He and that paint is dope, but I wouldn't pay this for it. I don't know why. I don't know why he ain't, but it just don't look that detailed or crazy to me. But it's dope. You know what I'm saying? So at that time, I used to be like, man, fuck out of here, duh, whatever. But now I'm like, yo, this boy really was like, he ain't step your game up. But I had to learn more. You know what I'm saying? I had to learn about what I was doing. Because this, is, I never went to school. You know what I'm saying? So. It's natural, it's just natural, so I'm just growing as I see different things and as I talk to people, so. So this is going on the black goats, you know what I'm saying, on the still hood. This is going on, and it's just like 22% done. And these drips, it's so crazy, I talk with the Rolls Royce people. This is so deep that I'm saying this shit, right? I talk with the Rolls Royce people, right? So the, the hood and the frame, you know, like the grill frame is two different pieces. So I had to put, I made drips, so the drips can come down the front of the grip. Nigga! <laughs> just wait. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. But that's like in process, you know what I'm saying? Like, my biggest thing is, if you was never into art, you 
you ain't in the art. You know what I'm saying? You in the art now because I guess it's a conversation for you. It's like a, a crowd that you can kind of float to or just something to say that you're a part of that that's that's in right now. You know, art's always been in, you know what I'm saying? I just didn't know where. When I was first starting off and I was trying to do a lot of stuff in um down first Fridays in Philadelphia and stuff like that and I was going into the galleries and I was talking to the you know the, the the gallery owner that didn't really even pay me no mind when I walked in, you know what I'm saying? So it was like I would talk it's some it's one lady too, it's a I ain't gonna put her out there, but it's down like third and third and market. I used to set up in front of her gallery all the time, right? I used to get there super early, set up in front of her gallery because she had the pieces that was like seventy by seventy. That was my my motivation, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, all right, I'm gonna set up in front of the gallery that all the people with the money walking in front of. I gotta be there early. So I remember one day, um, people were standing outside looking at my art before they went in. So she's like, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? So people were asking me like, why aren't you in the gallery? And, and I'm just like, you know, I haven't asked her yet. I just come down for first Fridays. So after she seen my volume, she seen all kinds of stuff. She told me this one thing. I, I went back and um, and I'm like, yeah, how can I get, you know, I, even if I can put something small in here, that'd be dope. This is like four years ago. And um, she like, well, your art's not mature enough or whatever. And, and she was right at the time, you know what I'm saying? But she told me one thing. She said, she said, you're an Afri African-American artist. She said, always worry about the art. She said, worry about the art. She said, a lot of African-American artists, once they get big, they get popping, they forget about getting better. You know what I'm saying? They said, they'd rather you know, be like a rapper or something like that, you know what I'm saying? So I always kept that in mind, even though it was kind of ignorant to me at the time, but I was just like, wow, I just took it, I just took it, you know what I mean? And I kept it going. But now that I know the market, you know, it's, uh, it's just go time. Social media is a great thing. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. Um, social media got my art in the eyes of people all over the place. Uh, I made lots of sales off of Instagram and, you know, not Twitter as much. I'm not really a tweeter, but Instagram is it, 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 super, you know what I'm saying? Like, I remember I didn't even have an iPhone and my little brother had a phone. And he was showing me pictures of people. He's like, yo, look, this is a new thing called Instagram. He's showing pictures. I'm like, damn, I need an iPhone. I need to post some of my art, you know what I'm saying? He's like, damn, that'd be dope. You know, I mean, it's, it's kind of saturating it for real artists, you know what I'm saying? And it's not definitely not hating because I think if you're an artist on a music level and if you're an artist on the art, on, you know, the, the painting level or sculpting, whatever, it's all the same. So, I mean, I figure I might correct too. Not my thing. I'm not trying it though. You know what I'm saying? I stay in my lane. I, I, I can create this. I can do this. Like, it's, it's a gift. It's no other question about it. So, I got to be as humble and as cool as possible, but I'm not no game. I'm not no sucker. So, you know, the way I come off to some people, sometimes they might take it the wrong way, but it's all love. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely all love. Genius ain't always, like, the easiest people to get along with, dog. <laughs> Unless you got some kind of genius that you too. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to just put it on that, man. Me personally, I'm, I hold back a lot of the stuff that I'm working on, who I'm working with. Um, that's real big, man. It's a lot of people that just, you know, try to get cool and follow you and things like that just to follow your, your, your moves. And you wind up seeing them talking to the people that you grind. Like, I've met people on the grind, you know what I'm saying? At Art Basel and made situations back in New York. And I've seen people try to latch on to me and actually do work for them because of the people they're saying they're cool with me they're saying oh yeah me and Raheem did this and me and Kyle King Saladin did this and did it did it did it and they work might be good and I'm not a hater but don't don't jump on something that you know that that I paid and I spent my money on plane tickets and meeting people in rooms and all this other stuff to just jump on that's that's kind of crazy but I mean people gonna do what they gotta do you know what I'm saying and I don't hate nobody and everything I do the business has to be right it's not about it go it, first it starts with the energy and it starts with how how genuine the situation is and then then we get the business right it's straight everything is straight because a lot of a lot of artists and a lot of people get into situations just off of this would be dope let's do it all right, cool. You do that collaboration and you send it out to a, a you got to be able to trust another person too. I've done only two collaborations. Um, an artist in Miami. I've worked with him on uh, Art Basel. We're supposed to be working on something else in Miami coming up. Um, that was dope. That was like 
on the spot at a Belvedere uh, conference type thing. It was crazy, yo. Um, I'm working on one with my man Floor. Um, by Floor, cool ass artist, you know what I'm saying? Um, we ran into each other on Instagram one night. I don't know who had his pictures up. He, it was like a Dennis the Menace joint, and I love Dennis the Menace. You know what I'm saying? And um, I hit up on, hit it up, hit him up. Yo, that's crazy. That joint, that joint, dope. He hit me back. Yo, that's crazy. I love your work, man. Da -da 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 -da. So as we started building, you know, he was one of the people that I was like, damn, I like that style, and I think I could add to it. Yeah. And this is all off the top of the head too, man. It's no like I drew this out before. I knew I was gonna put this. Everything I do is straight off the top of the head. Cause I think that's it, it come out better like that. Cause I, if I drew it a week ago and try to do it now, I'd probably be fucking up. Cause I'd be like, damn, I need to, no, I see this. I'd be fucking my own head up. So it'd be, if, if I went to school for all this, it'd be some type of record of it. It'd be, why would not, you know, big that up? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't think that's like the thing to do, not to, you know, to jump into something, you know what I'm saying? But not be schooled on it. I don't think that's a great idea, but some things just happen, you know what I'm saying? For real, for real, like my mom, my mom, uh, she be taking my art a lot, you know what I'm saying? It's Cause like we in her house right now, you know what I'm saying? She got a bigger garage and all that. And you know, we got the, um, the spot in Jersey that we about to go to, but we was in Philly. So I wanted to come past here cause I had some pieces. And this is where I do a lot of my stuff before I go up to Jersey. But um, I don't know, man. My mom, she stuff, she stuff laying around. I come back, you know, a week later, two weeks later, and it's up in her room. And I'm like, yo, I'm about to sell that joint. But I don't know, man. I I go with what she like, though. You know what I'm saying? Like it's deep. Uh, my girl and my mom is like real big critics. Not real big critics, but they can be like, eh. and I'm like, mm, dang. I don't know if it feels good to put art up in my mom's crib, man. She ain't gotta go buy nothing. And I ain't gotta walk in and see no my kids shit. She always tell me though she proud of me, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So me and my mom super, super tight, you know what I'm saying? Like I played ball my whole life. She was at every game. Every game except for like tournaments when I was playing AAU and I had to go to Cali and stuff like that. But every high school game, every like Philadelphia AAU tournament, when my mom was there, she like a fan of me. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever I do. She on it, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know how mom supposed to be, I guess. But um, I think she'd be real proud, man, because I used to be bitching and complaining to her a lot, you know, about my job. I'm like, quit, man, this shit, uh. And she'd be like, well, quit. Well, quit. You made money before, like, quit. That wasn't really what I was trying to hear at the time. You know, you'd be wanting mom to be like, what? And I'm like, she like, quit. I ain't trying to hear that shit. And I'm like, damn, I got man fucked up. I got to do something. I don't know. I try to I try to channel my personality in the, in, into the art. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing that's gonna be like you are gonna see. Either you gonna either you gonna hate it or you gonna love it. It's no like hmm. I'm trying not to be the artist where it's like hmm. It's either like oh my god or I could never buy that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, hopefully it's never like that. No, I can't buy that part. But um. Just when I started really saying, you know what, I'm gonna save up my art money and get on a plane and try to expose what I'm doing to another coast or another state, another city, and I'll be gone for weeks, I'll be gone for months. It's like, that's what she was really like, yo, Heem, I know you can do anything. I, know, I really know you can do anything, you know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, like, uh, I'm trying to work more with blues now, though, as you see. Yeah. But orange is my favorite color, I like these, these, these different. I don't know, orange got so many different levels to it. Now I just found out how to mix some neon orange up. That's kind of like, created like spray paint, but it's not so you can kind of like lay it, you know what I mean? Um, well right now, just like I said before, I'm in, I'm in the midst of learning a bunch of stuff. So, um, yeah, and Alec actually is the one of the artists that I started to see. Oh, that's super hot, that's glossy as hell. You know, and Mr. Dupre, but at the time, I didn't ask Mr. Dupre that, you know what I mean? Because I was just learning steps. Like, that's the running part almost, you know what I'm saying? So now that I'm running a little bit, I'm say I'm jogging, now I'm starting to use different glosses, different, uh, you know, I haven't used resin yet, but I used a lot of different glosses and things to make the painting look wet. You know what I mean? I had clients, I sent it to them, and they're like, can I touch it? It looks wet. And I'm like, that. Okay, it worked, you know what I'm saying? So I'm getting into it, getting more into it. If you gonna do something, you gotta do it. If you gonna do something, you gotta live it. Like, live it. I used to always say, hey, you never gonna make no money at art unless you live it. 
and I was like, what the fuck is you talking about? You know what I'm saying? He was like, you got you to quit that nut-ass job. At the time, I'm like, all right, well, I got this, I got this bill, I got rent, I got car note, this, like, I can't really just quit the job right now. He said, hey, you want to just quit that fucking job and do you. He said, once you got to live off it, that's when you're going to be able to get it. When you was like, yeah, when you was just playing around with the paint cans. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, damn, he trying to really go in. Now, I'll be seeing pieces and I'm like, all right. And I told you that, dog. I said, yo, Mr. Brainwash started out the same way. When I looked at his story, the, um, what was it? The, uh, oh, the exit to the gift shop. Exit to the gift shop. Yeah. And I was watching and I'm like, yo, this is my hair. This is fucking my hair. I gotta watch my ass, man. Nah, it's like. <laughs>